Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that'll leave you in disarray. Let's get it. So Chila suffered from a wildfire a couple of days ago, right? But somebody took a video that was very questionable. And I'm gonna play it right now. And you guys let me know what you think about this. Será verdad la teoría de la Casa Azul? Now look, I'm not one to believe in coincidences, right? I believe everything happens by design. How many coincidences until it's mathematically impossible? Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know guys, like this is a very interesting uh, occurrence. The house was barely touched, okay? Everything around it, demolished. I don't know if that's just a coincidence, but I still might be ordering a couple cans of blue paint from Sharon Williams song. Hey, yo, why was Ice Spice wearing an upside down cross during the Super Bowl? Not only that, but when the camera pans on her, she does devil horns with her fingers. I could be reaching. I just could, I could be reaching though. Wearing an inverted cross and throwing up the devil horns is one thing, but she really doubled down with the Balenciaga outfit, bro. That's the triple threat. I saw this thing. A weatherman is like showing the radar and like this big like storm formation or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's like, just so you know, this isn't a storm. This is just military exercise popping up on the radar looking like a storm yeah did it again but they were basically like this is not a weather formation this is the military dropping chaff threads of aluminum fiberglass and plastic used by the military to trick radars what so uh, it's basically a blanketing system yeah to where the radars cannot penetrate through it and they've been doing that all over the US. The ingredients that they just listed for chaff sounds a lot like glitter. And if you know anything about the glitter conspiracy, then you know that one of the biggest mysteries is who's the largest purchaser of it. And I think we just figured it out. It might be Uncle Sam. A category five hurricane is about as scary as it can get, but a new study suggests global warming could be supercharging storms just enough to warrant a new category six. See a category five includes any storm with winds above 157 miles per hour. But that doesn't quite capture how strong some of these storms actually get. In just the last decade, researchers identified five hurricanes or typhoons with winds of over 192 miles per hour, qualifying them as a hypothetical Category 6. This is in large part due to warmer temperatures in the ocean and atmosphere that are fueling hurricanes to grow even more intense. And while it isn't likely a new category of hurricanes will actually be created, researchers hope to improve how the strength of storms are communicated in emergencies to avoid underestimating just how strong these storms can get. Let's just stop beating around a bush and call any storm with winds over 190 miles per hour a category heart. That's more transparent if you ask me. Hello, I'm gonna get one of these signed if that's all right. My name is Justin. Yes. Yes, with an I am. Orlando. Not too far. No, I'm okay on a picture, but thank you. I do have a question though. Sometimes when we're watching the uh, ISS footage, you'll see the uh, astronauts sometimes connected with wires and harnesses. Is that to keep them like in the frame during the broadcast, or what's the reason for that? You know, I haven't actually seen them while they're inside the shuttle. Yeah, like when they're inside the ISS, sometimes during the feeds, the broadcast, you'll oh, see them yes, um, pulling on their belts or something like that. Oh, really? I know that they, you know, they're trying to be still when they're really right. talking to someone, and then they usually try to like, like, Yeah, because like, I've seen the yeah. foot before, and it almost looked like a foot was caught, like, inside something, but there was nothing really there. It was really strange. I didn't know if there was something to kind of, like, hold them in place or something. They never had anything like oh, that, okay. but they may have learned over time that it was hard to see still. Yeah. yeah. Did you um? Did you ever think the public would find out that all the space blocks were filmed under Thanks, water? Thanks, sir. <laughs> did you have any comment on that? Well, we train underwater. Oh, okay. But only training? Only training. Okay. I feel like she handled that interrogation pretty well until she started stuttering and gave the most unscientific answers ever. Well, we train underwater. Interesting videos are coming out of California. As you know, they're dealing with the atmospheric river and just the crazy weather with the flooding. Well, these witnesses in Fresno captured what looks like a piece of, of, of a palm tree floating in thin air. They claim that it was not being held up by power lines or anything. There's nothing near it. It's literally just stuck in the air. Take a look at this video and tell me what you think. What the? What? 
Puta. Unless there was a constant updraft and downdraft to keep it stationary like that, I feel like it may have been just tied up with fishing string, but I'm more concerned about those red orbs that were flashing in the sky. Giants were very much real, and they were around not too long ago. But these versions were the smallest of the giant. Or it seems like after the last reset, either directly or indirectly, they were slowly phased out. These were not individuals, though that suffered from giganticism. You see no disfigurements, no deformations, just giant people <sighs> were living side by side with us little people. Once they were phased out to nothing more than a genetic abnormality, then the removal of them from history began, where we are told today that the thousands of years of shared history with them, all the depictions of them, all the pictures of them, are nothing more than just fables. Fables that were depicted the same in every country for thousands of years. The parasites had to remove them though. To get us to deny our creator, they had to install all these theories like evolution and giants would certainly go against that poorly constructed theory. We consider professional basketball players today some of the tallest humans on earth, but if these pictures are legit, then they make even LeBron James look like a little league AAU player, bro. That's those Nephilim genes. Is it gonna rain in Dubai today? Just so I know. I have to drive back from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Uh, no. It's not raining. It's a sunny day. The UAE government invested more than $20 million in research to start a process called cloud seeding. The UAE performs around a thousand hours of cloud seeding a year, and it's all controlled by this building in the National Center of Meteorology in Abu Dhabi, where they track the whole process. We met with a cloud seeding expert to explain how the seeding process works. We wait the forecast when we have a good, you know, chance for, uh, for cloud. We send the aircraft to that location. It go under the cloud in the first stage of the cloud there is good updraft at that time start to release all the salt and with the good updraft of course it will go inside the cloud uh, the droplets will become bigger and start to uh, rain the center manufactures a salt substance that helps enhance rainfall they put them in what they call flares i can see how this could be useful for dubai since it sits in an arid desert but i doubt that the only thing being sprayed out the back of these planes is salt most people are probably going to dismiss this as insignificant or not a big deal but let me know what you think so this is vatican city you see that nice obelisk there well the city of london and washington dc also have obelisks and despite vatican city being surrounded by italy it is not actually a part of italy it has its own government its own police force and the same goes for Washington, D.C. It's not actually a part of the U.S. It's its own territory. It has its own police force, its own government. Look, City of London, which is in the middle of London, you'd think it's a part of London, but it's actually its own city state with its own government and its own police force. Although the City of London falls under the jurisdiction of Greater London and the GLA, it has its own special status, its own government, its own mayor, and its own independent police force. So there is some spiritual significance to this. The city of London being the financial center, the Vatican City being the religious center, and Washington, D.C. being the military center of the world. The other crazy thing is we know the Vatican Archives is miles and miles of library underground in the Vatican, ancient books and things. Well, this is where the Pope speaks inside of this big hall, it's called. And uh, that's a very interesting looking design behind it. But this is more interesting. Uh, well, that building he was in, just pictured, looks like the side of a snake. The inside, like he stands back there and talks. And uh, that looks pretty reptile-like. Because of the odds of making this look like that by accident are very slim, we gotta ask ourselves why they did it. I was always taught that the serpent was the reason behind humanity's downfall, so I'm confused as to why the Pope is speaking from the mouth of one. this is but there's a big bag in there with water
whoever is brave enough to actually purchase this home has a surprise coming to him because I don't think a freezer in the middle of the floor was used to store prime rib in Chateaubriand. P.T. Barnum, Phineas Taylor Barnum, uh, who's considered the greatest showman. There was a film made about his life, which is very generous. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? The truth is he was a very horrible, <laughs> a horrible human being through and through. Okay, he, he only cared about money, basically. And anything he did which seemed caring... It was done for publicity, first and foremost. Everything was out there in the open for the public to see because he wanted to give the illusion that he was a charitable person. He was actually a member of the Odd Fellows, which is a, a secret society, an offshoot of Freemasonry. I'm pretty sure that a couple of American presidents were members oh, of the Odd more than a couple. More than a couple. <laughs> the Odd Fellows, funnily enough, their logo is three rings interlocking each other, like three chain links. And if you think ah, of it, the three ring circus. P.T. Barnum did come up with the Three Ring Circus. Yeah, so he was incorporating his occult symbols into the circus as soon as he got involved with it. The circus itself is a direct copy of Freemasonic rituals. So you have the, the Ringmaster, that's Solomon, the Ringmaster, who used the ring to control oh, the demons yeah, to build ring. his temple, right. you know. And what does the Ringmaster do but orchestrate the performers or the clowns, the demons, you know? He's the, wow. he's the orchestrator of that. And it's a giant Freemasonic ritual just put into the public eye. So not only is the Ringmaster of Solomon an analogue, but he is also the Grand Worshipful Master of the Lodge, who also wears a top hat. Uh, the Grand Worshipful Master of a Freemason ritual, the Grand Worshipful Master is the only one allowed to wear a top hat. No one else is allowed to wear it. Interesting. That's, it's all connected. I've been to the circus several times and never considered the fact that I'm participating in a ritual, bro. I can't even watch the trapeze artist and eat my roasted peanuts in peace no more. Well, that didn't take long. An MIT PhD student has already hacked the Apple Vision Pro. That Mashable article didn't have any details about the hack, so I went and found the researcher's Twitter account where he posted some screenshots. You can see here where he induced the kernel panic. This is what leads to potentially a jailbreak, but definitely crashes the device. This guy, Joseph, is no stranger to iOS research. You can go follow him on Twitter. And even as recently as December, he was posting vulnerabilities about iOS and macOS. I can only imagine how stressful virus pop-ups are in augmented reality. And if you spend $3,500 on any electronic device, the last thing you expect is to get hacked within two weeks of owning it. I have seen the world in the world. The world is a strange thing. Look at this. The world is young. 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 Anlaşılabiliyor. Saçları evet. dökülmüş. Kaç yaşında tahmin olarak? Sekizde rahat var. Mükemmel şöyle kafasını şöyle tutasın gelecek diye. Isırsa herhalde hayat. Hayatımda gördüğüm en değişik canlılardan birisi acayip çirkin ya. Bakar mısın diye. Harun yalnız bayağı yaşlı. Bayağı yaşlı bir de üst kısmına bak başarının üst kısımlarına yani yaşlılık çizgileri gibiler. I don't know where they found this baby gargoyle at but I kind of want one. But cats be genetically modified creatures created to spy on or observe the human race? Cats have been domesticated for around 12,000 years, and while it's easy to simply think they're descendants of big cats like lions and tigers, some of their features are a little off. For example, unlike big cats, domesticated cats have slitted pupils, can smell through their mouths, and hiss, similar to snakes and reptiles. It's also worth mentioning that unlike any other creature, cats were believed to have domesticated themselves back in ancient Egypt, and as a result of all the mysteries surrounding cats both physically and culturally, people have come up with some outlandish theories. One theory suggests that a group of beings genetically modified and combined multiple creatures to create what we know today as the domesticated cat. Once cats integrated into our society, these beings then used forms of remote viewing or clairvoyance to watch and observe the human race. And while that theory sounds outlandish, there was actually an ancient book called the Book of Giants that talks about how a group of fallen angels did this exact same thing. I don't think cats were specifically created to spy on humans, but I definitely feel judged sometimes. What is the most dangerous information that you know? Oh boy. They're going to hoax an alien threat and it's all a lie. So we are actually in the last year at the point where they've started on that plan. We have got to intercept this plan and stop it. That there's a group of people who control this issue that are trying to provoke an interplanetary incident. This group started releasing stuff to the CNN and Washington Post and New York Times. The, every bit of information they're putting out has this been, it's a threat to the national security. Our sovereignty has been invaded. It's the kind of brainwashing that's already started. 
to try to convince the public there is, is an alien threat. In the future, what we're going to do and have on this plan is hanging in the balance and we're going to have to wake up. Sometimes it feels like Dr. Greer is just shooting from the hip with some of these responses, but I actually agree with him on this one. If extraterrestrials are a real threat, then they would let it be known themselves. We wouldn't need to be conditioned like this through the slow release of information. If you like conspiracy theories, that's fine. But the reason why I don't like conspiracy theories is because they usually divert energy and resources away from actual stuff going on that's even more wild than most of the theories to begin with. A great example of that is earthquakes, because if you look up earthquake conspiracy theories, you're going to get stuff about space lasers and radio waves and missiles generating earthquakes across the world, when in reality, there's companies all over the world, and especially in the United States, that are generating earthquakes that are damaging homes at an alarming frequency with the knowledge of the government, and most of the information is just out in the public. Starting with this map from the United States Geological Survey, you can see all the fun colors, but you also see these black boxes that are superimposed on the map. These boxes represent seismic activity generated by human activity. In most of these cases, it has to do with wastewater injection wells. Now, someone watching this video just went, oh my god, it's the fracking. Hydraulic fracturing does create small earthquakes around a magnitude of 1, which are usually not perceived by humans. We're talking about earthquakes of magnitude 5, 5.8, and possibly even higher being generated by this water injection. Why are these earthquakes so much more intense than fracking ones? Because they involve much larger volumes of water than any fracking operation would. We're talking about 10 barrels of wastewater generated per barrel of hydrocarbon produced by fossil fuel companies, especially in areas like Oklahoma. Before 2009, North Central Oklahoma had about one magnitude three earthquake or greater per year. By 2015, they had 900 magnitude three earthquakes or greater. In fact, the largest earthquakes in Oklahoma history all happened in the 2010s and all were over magnitude five. Heck, the one that happened last week was a 5.1 and it resulted in nine of these disposal wells being shut down. I mean, if this is true, then I find it weird that you can get a ticket for disturbing the peace for playing your music too loud in your car, but these companies are allowed to rattle your house and induce a magnitude three or greater earthquake with no repercussions. Is giving exorcist. Every time you saw Taylor Swift on your TV at the Super Bowl, you were flashed with demonic hand gestures and an inverted cross. Because right next to her was this woman, Ice Spicy. The second she notices she's on TV, she does her hand gestures and shows her cross. I mean, you don't even have to be conspiracy theorist for this one. Her friends are drinking, doing whatever, watching the game, and she does this. It just looks so forced. And for those of you saying it's not an upside down cross, Playboy Cardi literally posted it on his story. And in up close videos and photos of her, you can see she's clearly rocking it. After the Chiefs won, the President of the United States posted this on his Instagram saying, Just like we drew it up in these red eyes. Clonier West was at the game wearing all black with a black mask with Jesus Christ in between his eyes. This is the biggest stage in the world. Everything on your TV is there for a reason, and we haven't even got to the commercials or the halftime show yet. They can continue to show us this imagery and try and normalize it, but I can promise you one thing. I will never stop exposing what is going on in this world. We already touched on the Ice Spice antics. I'm worried about the subliminal post on Biden's ex account. Is he referring to the Super Bowl or the owner of the largest Nigerian bank that was on that helicopter? If anybody knows what this is, please let us know in the comments, bro. It looks like a sentient garden hose. Hundreds of people in the valley say they are hearing voices in their heads. And those voices are being transmitted by microwave or other methods. Well, several viewers asked us to investigate what they call electronic harassment. KMIR 6 is Angela Monroe joins us now with what she's discovered. Angela. Electronic harassment, synthetic telepathy, voice to skull technology. Chances are you haven't heard of these terms, but after searching the internet, I found dozens of websites dedicated to the phenomenon and several Valley residents who say they're victims. How much more can you invade me than to go into my brain? It sounds like somebody else is reading the book, only it's thoughts. We're not having a group hallucination. This is actually something that's happening. These men all live in the area, didn't know each other before the voices started, 
and say someone is playing mind games with them. Mostly it's a lot of derogatory uh, comments about whatever you're thinking about. Kevin Bond says he used to have a normal life. I was living in the San Diego area. Uh, I was clerking for a federal judge and I noticed that I was being followed by a whole bunch of people. Synthetic telepathy kind of sounds like testing for MK Ultra or DARPA technology, bro. I'll either relocate or just get some industrial size earplugs. Why the secrecy? Well, who were these men? Senator Nelson Aldridge, who was the Republican whip in the Senate. Aldridge was a business associate of J.P. Morgan. He was the father-in-law to John D. Rockefeller Jr., which means, of course, that eventually he became the grandfather of Nelson Rockefeller, our former vice president. The second person at the meeting was Abraham Piat Andrew, who was assistant secretary of the Treasury. Frank Vanderlip was there. He was the president of the National City Bank of New York, which was the largest and the most powerful of all the banks in the country. Representing the financial interests of William Rockefeller, Henry Davison was there. He was the senior partner of the J.P. Morgan Company. Charles Norton was present. He was the president of the First National Bank of New York which was another one of the giants. Out of everybody's biography that he just read, none of them were elected government officials, so how did they get the power to make such an important decision on behalf of the people? Grandma was from Ireland, and this is the boss. She left me. Stuff you get left by your grandma. Not sure where that came from. Anyway. The mummified leprechaun. Never seen anything like this before in my life. This is a mummified leprechaun. I would probably take it personal if all the other grandkids got left with some property or some money and I just get left with the mummified leprechaun. Like, I appreciate it, but I can't pay my bills with this, Grandma. Super Bowl this year was a massive ritual to Saturn using alchemical symbolism for, you know who, the devil. Alicia Keys came out as a scarlet woman dressed in all red. The purpose is to manifest the energies of the new Aeon of Horus which is why Usher was wearing only the left glove, the left hand pad. Usher used the symbolism of alchemy to show us turning lead into gold or the transmutation of the soul when he came out on the black stage, then he was dressed in white and he ended up on the stage of fire all while wearing a phoenix pin. We got opposing polarity symbolism of the checkerboard of Freemasonry, and even the big one, a stage used to show Usher as the sun on the Zodiac Cross, a pagan religious belief, and the symbol was two opposing planets with the sun between them. If you look up today's astrology, guess what planets are in opposition with the sun between them? The Earth and Saturn. That's why Ice Spice and Taylor Swift used Saturn symbolism in their karma video, and Usher was standing on a giant clock, aka Kronos or Saturn, the religion of the occultists. There's way more than I have time for in this video, from Usher's Baphomet symbols to the rigged game for the Chiefs and the aliens and Beyonce's AI symbolism. I feel like the symbolism goes even deeper. The address of the stadium where the Super Bowl was played was 3333 Al Davis Way. Patrick Mahomes finished the game with 333 passing yards. The Chiefs ended up winning the game by three points, not to mention Taylor Swift's 13 numerology. The world was truly a stage. So when does the AI empire start, do you think? <laughs> You're asking increasingly more complicated questions. To answer them, you need to be an expert in big numbers, big data, and AI. Mankind is currently facing many threats. Due to the genetic researches, it is now possible to create a superhuman, a specialized human being, a genetically engineered athlete, scientist, military man. There are reports that Elon Musk had already had a chip implanted in the human brain in the USA. What do you think of that? I think there's no stopping Elon Musk. He will do as he sees fit. <laughs> Nevertheless, you need to find some common ground with him. Search for ways to persuade him. I think he's a smart person. I truly believe he is. So you need to reach an agreement with him because this process needs to be formalized and subjected to certain rules.
Humanity has to consider what is going to happen due to the newest development in genetics or in AI. One can make an approximate prediction of what will happen. Once mankind felt an existential threat coming from all nuclear nations began to come to terms with one another since they realized the negligent use of could drive humanity to extinction. It is impossible to stop research in genetics or AI today, just as it was impossible to stop the use of gunpowder back in the day. But as soon as we realize that the threat comes from unbridled and uncontrolled development of AI, or genetics, or any other field, the time will come to reach an international agreement on how to regulate these things. I believe that artificial intelligence should have some regulations put on it based on its implications for humanity, but I know Elon Musk is happy he's not living in Russia because Putin will have a short leash on him. It's a terrible gun. What do you mean it's a terrible car? Man, it's a Bronco. It has the capability. That's the main thing. I know it. Boy, <laughs> Al Collins was driving this thing, and if we want to get away, it was easier to get away. Want to get some paperwork and talk about this thing? No, nah, man, I'm cool. I'm broke as a joke, man. Okay. Then my mama's English told me. <laughs> my father, I personally made famous. He's worth more than four hundred dollars. You know what? If it's yours, I'll buy it for you. Oh, uh, hey, we got a sale. Come on out here, guys. I can't even do it with OJ right now, man. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next video. <laughs>